One of my subscribers asked to make the video how to read the Excel data in Playwright Test Automation project and I decided to record this demo. So I have this simple user data file with the two columns and two username and passwords. And also I set up a simple example where I log into the application. Currently the data is hard coded over here. But let's replace this username and password reading it from the Excel file. This file saved under the data folder inside of the project and we're gonna read it somehow. First of all we will not reinvent the wheel and we're gonna use something what's already available as npm package and serve millions of people around the world. So we're gonna use this xlsx package on npm. Even it's still four years old, look it's uh, almost four million weekly downloads and the popularity for this package is still growing so I would assume is working fine. The first step we need to uh, download this application and install in our Playwright framework. So I just copying this link going back to the project open a new terminal window and paste this command into the terminal and I want it also to save as a dev dependency so I add save dash dev like this and making the installation. After that you will see that package will be added into package.json on then the dependencies project. That's it, first step is done. Uh, the next step, now let's uh, use this package actually in the project. How to use it? Let's look into documentation. Scrolling a little bit down and I am looking for this import like this. So I'm copying this guy going back and pasting it over here. But instead of using MJS stuff, I'm just import the whole thing into my project and we'll use this XLSX project, reading the methods inside of it for whatever operations I may need. What else do I need? I need to read the actual file inside of the spec file. So for that, I will need a second import and it will be path from path just to read the uh, file system inside of my project. Now let's create a constant that will refer to this file. So user data file equals to and I call path dot join then the uh, directory name for my project and the uh, file is located under the data and the name of the file uh, user data.xlsx. Okay, that's it. And now let's read this file using xlsx uh, uh, library actually. So I create a new constant and first of all I need to uh, read the entire workbook. Workbook equals to then I call the xlsx and then I need to read file and I will read this user data file. All right, once this guy is done, I need to read the worksheet uh, from this uh, workbook. And I call uh, work workbook. I'm looking for sheets and sheets is array and I need to provide the name of the sheet inside of my document. So this is a, a sheet one. So I provide this string sheet one. All right. And uh, after that, to more conveniently work with this data later, it's better to convert it to a JSON object right away and then just work with a pure JSON object with a regular, you know, JS syntax related to uh, JSON. So I create a new constant xls to JSON and I call xlsx utils utils then shit to json method this guy and I provide the worksheet that I want to convert to json and uh, that's it now let's try to print to the console and see if it's actually working if it's working then the rest is the easy stuff so I put it control v I comment this code temporarily let's run this and see what we're gonna see in the terminal so running this stuff, it's launching the browser, but browser of course is not doing anything. And look at this, 
we have array printed in the console. So we successfully able to read Excel spreadsheets and every array represent the row inside of the sheet. So email one, password one, then the next row, second email and the second password and so on. So now looking into this array, we can use it inside of the test. So going back, I uncomment this thing. And instead of this hard coded value, I replace it with backticks and call dollar sign curly braces, then uh, x ls to json. This is array. So let's call the first uh, object from the array. And we are looking for email. Email. Okay. And let's do the same for the second object that will have a password like this. So we have a little red squiggly over here. We're going to fix it just in a second. It's just TypeScript uh, complaining on the object is type of unknown. So we will fix it a little bit later. So let's run it. First of all, make sure that it is working. So running the test and we logged in as a test gen user perfectly. And if I will change it to uh, index one, it should pick up the second value from the array. I can remove this console log, by the way, running this one more time. And right now we logged in as an Excel user. So we used a different username and password. So everything is working. The last thing to fix is just this compilation issue. We need to make TypeScript happy for that. We can create the interface and for example, call it uh, user data, something like this, and then define the fields that are inside uh, of the user data object. Email is a string and then password is also is a string. And then this user data we put over here as the data type like this. And here we go. All compilation issue is solved. We can run it one more time to make sure that it is working successfully. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how simple is it actually to read the data from the Excel file. Don't need to reinvent the wheel. Use the NPM package available over there. You can do whatever. You can read, you can update data. You saw there are tons of methods available within this package to manipulate with this Excel file. So if you like this video, put the likes, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any suggestions that you want me to record the videos about, please post them in the comments. Uh, I will upload new videos to the channel regularly. I post them weekly. So I'll see you next week.